Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with another scorching hot take on the never ending soap opera that is the British royal family. Buckle up because today we're talking about the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, and her potential return to the public eye at Wimbledon. Oh, and of course, we can't forget about our favorite ex-royal troublemaker, Meghan Markle, who's probably fuming in Montecito right about now. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, Wimbledon, the crown jewel of tennis tournaments, where the grass is always greener and the strawberries and cream never run out. And who might be gracing us with her presence this year? None other than Princess Kate herself. That's right folks, our favorite royal fashionista might be making her grand return to the public eye. And let me tell you, it's got everyone talking. Now, before we get into the juicy details, let's take a moment to appreciate the absolute roller coaster of a year Kate's had. She's been battling cancer, bless her heart, and has been lying low for most of 2023. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, or in this case, a princess emerging from her palace, Kate's been slowly but surely making her way back into the spotlight. First, we had her surprise appearance at the Chooping the Color earlier this month. I mean, talk about a comeback. It was like watching a pop star make a surprise appearance at a concert. The crowd went wild. And now we've got Wimbledon on the horizon, and let me tell you, the All England Club is practically salivating at the thought of Kate gracing their courts. Debbie Jevons, the chair of the All England Club, is quoted as saying they're hopeful Kate will be able to present the trophies as the club's patron. Hopeful? More like desperate. They're probably praying to the tennis gods every night hoping Kate will feel enough to make an appearance. They're even offering her as much flexibility as possible. What does that mean? Will they move the entire tournament to her living room if she's not feeling up to leaving the house? But here's where it gets interesting, folks. While everyone's bending over backwards to accommodate Kate, there's one person who's probably seething with jealousy right now. That's right, I'm talking about Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, or as I like to call her, the Queen of Montecito. Can you imagine Meghan's reaction when she heard this news? I bet you could hear the sound of crockery smashing all the way from California. Here's Meghan desperately trying to stay relevant with her Spotify podcasts and Netflix deals, and meanwhile, Kate's about to waltz back into the spotlight at one of the most prestigious sporting events in the world. Talk about stealing someone's thunder. I can just picture Meghan now, pacing around her mansion, muttering to herself, but I'm the one who's supposed to be in the limelight. I'm the actress. I'm the one who knows how to work a crowd. Sorry, Megs, but it looks like Kate's got you beat this time. But let's be real for a second. This isn't just about how Meghan's jealous or Kate's potential comeback. This is about the power of the royal brand. Love them or hate them, you've got to admit the royals know how to command attention. And Kate, she's the golden girl of the royal family right now. Think about it. She's been through a health crisis. She's shown grace under pressure. And now she's making a triumphant return to public life. It's like a real life fairy tale, except instead of a glass slipper, we've got a tennis racket. And let me tell you, the public is eating it up like it's the last scone at afternoon tea. Now I know what some of you are thinking, but you're saying, isn't it a bit much to expect Kate to make a public appearance when she's still undergoing cancer treatment? And to that I say, you're absolutely right. But here's the thing, Kate's not just any cancer patient, she's a royal cancer patient, and that means the rules are different. In her own words, Kate said, I'm making good progress, but as anyone going through chemotherapy will know, there are good days and bad days. Well, let me tell you, if Kate's good days involve presenting trophies at Wimbledon, I'd love to know what her idea of a great day is. Climbing Mount Everest? Winning an Olympic gold medal? The mind boggles. But jokes aside, we've got to give credit where credit is due. Kate's handling of her health crisis has been nothing short of admirable. She's been open about her struggles, she's taken the time she needs to focus on her health, and now she's slowly easing back into public life. It's a masterclass in how to handle a personal crisis in the public eye. And let's not forget the historical significance of this potential Wimbledon appearance. Since 1907, when Prince George, later King George V, became the club's first president, 10 royals have presented the Wimbledon trophies. Kate took over the role of patron from the late Queen Elizabeth in 2016. That's some pretty big shoes to fill, and Kate's been doing it with style and grace. But here's where it gets really interesting. The All England Club is being very cagey about their plans, as if Kate can't make it. 
Debbie Jevons said, and I quote, I don't know who would present the trophies as an alternative. That's something to consider nearer to the time if necessary. Oh, come on, Debbie. You telling me you don't have a plan B? What if Kate wakes up on the day of the final and decides she's not up to it? Are you going to pull some random spectator out of the crowd? Congratulations on winning Wimbledon. Here's your trophy presented by Dave from Accounting. And let's not forget the media circus that is going to surround this potential appearance. The paparazzi are probably already camping out at Wimbledon, fighting over the best spots to catch a glimpse of Kate. The British tabloids are probably working overtime, coming up with clever headlines. Kate's courtside comeback. Prince's ace is her return. Game, set, match for Kate. I can see them now, and let me tell you, it's both hilarious and slightly nauseating. But you know who's not laughing? That's right, our girl Megan. While Kate's getting all this positive press, Megan's probably wondering where it all went wrong. Remember when she was the darling of the British press? When her every move was scrutinized and calculated? Now she's watching from across the pond as Kate steals all the headlines. I can just imagine the conversation in the Sussex household right now. Harry's probably trying to comfort Megan, saying something like, Don't worry, love, we've got our own projects. Remember the Netflix deal? And Megan's response? Probably something along the lines of, Netflix schmexflix. Kate's going to be at Wimbledon. But here's the thing, folks. As much as we love to speculate and gossip about the royals, we've got to remember that at the end of the day, these are people dealing with real issues. Kate's battling cancer for crying out loud. And Megan, while well, she's dealing with the fallout of leaving the royal family and trying to forge her own path. It's not easy being in the public eye, especially when every move you make is scrutinized and analyzed to death. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, for one, it's a reminder of the enduring power of the British monarchy. Despite all the scandals, all the drama, all the Netflix documentaries, I'm looking at you, Harry and Meghan, the royals still have the ability to capture the public's imagination like nothing else. And secondly, it's a testament to Kate's resilience, whether she makes it to Wimbledon or not. The fact that she's even considering it is pretty impressive. She's shown that she's not going to let her health struggles define her, and that's something we can all admire. As for Megan, well, maybe this will be the push she needs to step up her game. Who knows, maybe next year we'll see her presenting trophies at the US Open. Stranger things have happened in the world of royalty, after all. So there you have it, folks, the saga of Kate, Megan, and the Battle of Wimbledon. Will Kate make her grand return to the public eye? Will Meghan find a way to steal back the spotlight? And most importantly, will someone please think of poor Dave from accounting who might have to present the Wimbledon trophy if Kate can't make it? So what do you guys think about this news? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.